Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Brian G from Flake Garage. Today we're gonna to be showcasing my truck. Uh, I had it since uh, April 28th, 2020 of last year, and we're gonna do a little quick update. You know, it's getting close to a year now, and as well on our YouTube channel, it's getting close to a year. Uh, this is a 1997 Nissan pickup, also known as a D21 or the hard body. It's the base model two wheel drive. Um, we're gonna start with the engine bay, everything that's been done to it since the beginning. Then we're gonna to move to the outside. And then we're going to be moving into the inside as well. So uh, let's get this started. All right, man. So where right now we have the engine here. As you can see, it's pretty stock. So let's talk through what you done to that one, Brian. Um, so when I got the truck, after I made it back to Brian's house, it was giving me issues. I didn't want to start. So we started off with a brand new battery. That wasn't the cause. It was actually the alternator, which was replaced afterwards. Then I managed to replace the throttle body about a week, two weeks down the road. And then we replaced the entire AC lines and a brand new compressor as well. We also replaced all the spark plugs, obviously, you know, little maintenance stuff as well with the brand new spark plug wires and a brand new exhaust manifold because the original one was actually cracked. Yeah, and then he has a whole new, uh, brand new AC compressor, like he said. Um, outside of maintenance stuff, uh, this has been pretty much kept factory for right now. It was giving us a lot of issues. We changed the belts and everything. I believe that was our second video that we did. Uh, the belts and the pulley, because everything was just kind of loose. Um, so, so far, it's staying stock. It's been working fine ever since all those fixes, but it's, it has taken quite a bit of of basically maintenance and bringing this thing back to life because it was a little bit rough when he first got it. Uh, I believe there was a sock, I think here, when we first, and as you can see, there's still the bottle here from the brake fluid. Uh, that's honestly been there since the since Brian got the truck. We never bothered to take it out. It's a memento. <laughs> it's just there for memories. But that's pretty much all that has been done to the engine. Nothing uh, crazy, nothing uh, out of factory, but definitely work and maintenance that if you have one of these old trucks, you probably are familiar with having to replace some of this stuff already. So now let's move on to the outside and uh, everything that he's done to it. I guess so for Brian's truck, some of the first things we did was we replaced the uh, lights, the turn signal lights on the bottom. They used to be clear, but Brian decided he wanted to black them out because they just looked a little off, I guess, with the whole blackout look here. Uh, he painted the grill as well. This used to be silver. It was almost hideous to look at. It was kind of... Um, just kind of out of place. I guess they tried to go for the whole chrome look, but did not look anywhere near uh, chrome. And uh, they didn't even bother taking it off the truck. They painted through the dryer and everything. Like you can see it here. Overspray. All the overspray in there. They just they just did a, a very bad job. They're just trying to get it quick out there and, and get it out, I guess. Uh, we also replaced his headlights for this sequential LED ones. They look pretty nice. They've been working out good so far. We're gonna have a review on those coming out later. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the three month mark. We wanted to wait three months to make sure everything was working good. Or if it wasn't gonna work, then at least we would know by then. But they are working fine so far. He also added the PPT. PPF film. PPF, I'm sorry, PPF film. Uh, he's gonna show you right here. If you takes out a key or any rocks or anything that go flying, you basically can do that and they won't scratch, which is pretty awesome. But remember, this is a film he added to it. Do not add this. Uh, do not try to do this with, with the lenses and the lights out of the box because you're gonna scratch them. Yeah, as you can tell, I scratched my PPF film, which is something I didn't wanna do. But I'm showing y'all that it's, it's gonna protect your headlights. So if you manage to get some PPF film, you can do it yourself, it's very easy. Just use distilled water and dish soap and it'll stick to it. Yeah, so now if we move on from the front of the truck, we can get up here to the hood. So we added those. Uh, when he first got the truck, he was missing one and the other one was pretty much um, just just on the way to fall yeah, off. Yeah, just breaking apart basically. And then if we move on to the back of the truck right now, we haven't really done a lot with the back of the truck, but we added this LED tail lights, which... Brian, didn't I tell you they were going to look sick? Yeah, <laughs> they look really sick, so I've they, gotten a lot of compliments on them. He's definitely gotten a lot of compliments. They're bright at night. 
uh wow we had them for a while now for uh almost a whole year and they still look just as as new they they light up the whole back of it and, and just makes you more visible for sure uh for then we also added the underbody lights uh we're not going to be able to turn them on right now obviously it's too bright you're not going to be able to see anything but they're running all uh, along the back the side and the front of the truck and they look pretty good so far they stayed working well uh we'll show you those maybe once it gets a little bit darker but let's move on to suspension and wheels. I know a lot of people are going to have questions about this. Uh, Brian, we have what uh, we just did the belt tech suspension on here. We did the two, three drop. You might be able to see here. Let me see if I can show you the shocks. Maybe not. They're pretty hidden back there. But we have the brand new belt tech street performance shocks um, with the two, three drop with the drop spindles as well. So check out those videos if you guys haven't seen it. We also have the Ion Alloy wheels. They are what size, Brian? 16 by eight with a uh, zero offset and they are wrapped in Federal tires, uh, 205, 40, R16. Yep, so we have the 16s. Uh, they fit the truck pretty well. They don't stick out too much, but it just gives it a nice little stand, a, a nice little lip there. Um, we're pretty happy with them, I think. So now, that's basically all that's done to the truck from the outside uh, and uh, engine-wise, like we mentioned. So now we can move on into the inside of it uh, and just see the few things that we've done in there. All right, guys, and we're moving on to the inside now. And we're going to start with the door here. We did this uh, tint ourselves from AutoZone. It's honestly not the best. It's kind of <laughs> messed up in there. Obviously, we're not professional tinners, so <laughs> it's it's okay. Uh, you also saw us on video do the speaker update. Over here, we had some really old boat speakers for some reason. And then the most important thing that we've done as far as the door goes is the power locks. Uh, Brian doesn't have to be locked down no more. He's finally able to just lock it and unlock it without having to put the key in there and all that. And that came out great. Still working just fine. Uh, we can move on to the inside and... Also, one of the few first things that we did was replace the steering wheel. We added a NRG steering wheel, quick release, and hub into um, his pickup. And you want to take it off real quick just to show him. It's still working good. Steering wheel comes off nice. The horn button we haven't fixed. We do need to do that. Um, so whenever we actually fix that button, we'll put up a video so you guys can see that one as well. Uh, and then we can move on a little bit closer in and look at this. Uh, this is a shift knob made by one of our uh, followers. Big shout out to Roger. Thank you so much. We're still using the shift knob. We love it. It, it works great. Uh, another thing we did was fix his radio. His radio was messed up. It wasn't working. It had a complete rat's nest. Uh, we also did the dual USB charger here and then we also upgraded his stereo it wasn't a new stereo or anything like that but it was an old one that worked a lot better than the one he had and then we also cleaned up the complete rat's nest that was behind this um, and another very important up mod we have the little ducky here brian's got a, that one he likes it and then you got your phone holder and everything i mean just not not a ton going on in here but it's definitely just small stuff that we have up, updated that's just made his life a lot easier we also added a small speaker behind the seat um that it's gonna be hard to see right now but it's back there uh, if you check out our other video you'll see it there all right so that's everything that we've done so far to this uh 97 hard body and uh hopefully we can start you know something fresh you know some new ideas this year and uh thank you for liking and subscribing to our channel we're almost there to a thousand and uh, deuce.